actually we are going to do vibration assignment for chapter 2 question 1 a simple and damped spring mass system as shown in figure 1 is set into motion from rest by giving it an initial displacement 1 draw the free body diagram of the system by showing all active force acting on the body 2 obtain the equation of motion of the system by using x as the generalized coordinate and 3 find the natural frequency of the system as you can see all the given information is stated in figure 1 To solve the problem, first we have to draw the free body diagram. Because the motion is to the right, the spring on the left is in tension. Thus the reaction force is compressed while the spring on the right is compressed. Thus the reaction force is tension. Based on the free body diagram, we will equate equation of motion. We use the submission of moment as the motion is in rotational motion. M equal to I theta double dot. M force times with distance and we will get negative 2 kx prime times tr minus kx prime times tr equal to I theta double dot. And we will rearrange the equation to I theta double dot plus 6krx prime plus 3krx prime equal to 0 and then we need to convert the value of x to convert x based on the figure we can see that there are two different distance of rotation the distance between point of this and center is x equal to 2r theta and we will put it in term of theta equal to x over 2r and we will differentiate at theta to theta dot and we will differentiate theta dot becomes theta double dot while the spring x prime equal to tr theta substitute theta with x over 2r and we will get the x prime equal to 3x over 2 we will put this value into the equation of motion and we will get the value of the equation of motion and we will rearrange it to i over 2 r theta double x theta x double dot plus 9 krx plus 9 over 2 krx equal to 0 then we need to substitute the value of i where since the, this is not rotated at the center we need to use equation i equal to i plus mr squared the value of i has been given in the figure 1 that is i equal to 1.5 and the mass is 10 and 2r is the radius And we will substitute the value of 2r that is 1.5 plus 10 times 2 times 0 0.1 to the power of 2 and we will get the value of i equal to 1.9 kg meter squared then sub this value of i into the equation of motion and we will get 1.9 over 2r x double dot plus 27 over 2 krx equal to 0 from equation of motion we can get the value of natural frequency omega n which is omega n equal to square root of k required over m required substitute the value of k required and m required from the equation of motion and we will put in the value of k and r and we will get the natural frequency is omega n 
equal to 5.331 radian per second. Next, for question B. B. Consider a single degree of freedom system which is represented as mx double dot plus cx dot plus kx equal to zero. Under equilibrium condition, the spring is compressed by 0 0.05 meter. The system is designed to operate at critically damped condition if the mass m is 1200 kilogram. Calculate the stiffening value of the system, calculate the equivalent damping value, and also if the mass is 300 kilogram is added to the system, what is the new damping ratio? Discuss the result. For question B, we need to find the stiffness value. Equivalent damping value and new damping ratio. So for question B, we need to, to find the spring stiffness. We use the sub formula submission of F equal to 0 at y direction. Then we substitute all the force, which is mg minus k delta st, where delta st is static deflation. Ne next, we will, we will rearrange the equation until we get k as a subject. After that, we substitute the value of mg and delta st and solve the equation. And we will get k equal to 235440 newton per meter. Next, for question B, to find the equivalent damping value, which is C equivalent, we use the formula zeta equal to C equivalent over CCR. Where for this system, the zeta is equal to 1, as in critical damping system. For CCR, we use the formula of 2 square root of Km. Then we substitute all the value of zeta and CCR, and we get C equivalent 3361.7.14 newton per meter. For the last question, to find new damping ratio, first we find the new mass for the system, which is 1200 plus 300 equal to 1500 kilogram. Then from the given equation of motion, we substitute the value of M, C, and K. So we get the equation of motion that has been stated. Next, we will use the formula of zeta equal to C equivalent over CCR to find the new damping ratio. The CCR, we use the formula of 2 square of K equivalent and M equivalent after that, we substitute the value of C equivalent, Q equivalent, and M equivalent, and we will get the final answer of zeta equal to 0 0.894. It can be concluded that the system is under dam system, as the new zeta value is between 0 and 1. And that's all from us. We are students of UITM, University Technology Mara, and we are from Faculty of Mechanical Engineering. And we are a three group mem three members group. My name is Muhammad Haris bin Hisham. And also with my friend Rufika Najiha Binti Samad. And last group member Nurul Fatiha Binti Sabarutin. Thank you for watching and hope you guys can understand understand it.